Hello, welcome back to our unit on the tools of geometry. Today we're going to expand our vocabulary by exploring angle pairs. Yay! So we love vocabulary here in geometry, and we like to throw a whole bunch of different things at you. So with angle pairs, we're going to use, um, well, vocab. And we're going to use pairs of angles to figure out what in the world we're talking about. So you can see here, we have a few uh, types of angle pairs. There's an example with a question on it, and then some problems that you'll likely see, and then you'll see we're gonna end up this particular activity throwing some algebra at you, uh, but we'll get there when we get there. The first things first is vocab, because uh, you know we have like this picture here, we're talking about what's a linear pair, and vertical angles, and supplementary, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna start with, um, with all the vocabulary for angle pairs, and, uh, and hopefully it'll be helpful. So the way I'm going to do that is begin with a, um, with, a, with a diagram of a whole bunch of different angles going on. And, uh, and we're going to name a few things. Okay, So I got some lines crisscrossing all over the place and a thing here, which means a thing. And you know we got point A and B and C and D and E and F and then O in the middle there, or what we perceive as the middle. So we're going to learn some vocabulary here, the nuts and bolts, nitty gritty. I'm going to ask us to name a pair of, and then we're going to go over things. So the first vocabulary term is adjacent angles, and we got to know what adjacent angles are. They are angles that share a common side and a common vertex. So when we look at this particular diagram, we should be able to see a whole bunch of of adjacent angles that have a common vertex and a common side. Well, hopefully you see with this particular diagram, there's only one vertex right there, that's O. And so we can have all sorts of angles that are adjacent. We got this one here, if you follow my pen, angle DOE and angle EOF, those are adjacent. FOA is adjacent to OEF, and then AOB is adjacent to that, and BOC is adjacent to that, and COB, uh, COD is adjacent to that. So that's by definition adjacent angles. So we can pick any two, it really doesn't matter. So if I'm saying name a pair of, uh, how about I just focus on, how about the first two, uh, the first two that I, that I said. So if I start with angle DOE, Right, if you look DOE, what angle is adjacent with that? Well, it's either this one here or this one here. I'm going to go with the one down here because I'm reading it DOE, which means I'm reading it kind of clockwise. So if I'm reading it clockwise, I want to go with the next clockwise angle. So I'll say adjacent to that is angle EOF. Those two are adjacent angles. They have a common vertex and a common side. So we have to make sure we know that vocabulary so that when we see the word adjacent angles, you know exactly what we're talking about. So that's the first vocab term. Next. The next vocab term, and is extremely important because these are so much fun to work with, these are called vertical angles. They are so much fun to work with. By definition, vertical angles have sides that are opposite rays. What? So if you remember what an opposite ray is, they make a straight line. So for example, ray OC and ray OF, opposite rays. Ray OD and ray OA, opposite rays. Okay, so vertical angles have sides that are opposite rays. Basically, I draw a little X here because that will, you know, that helps me remember vertical angles. So I know, you know, this angle and this angle are vertical angles, and this angle and this angle are vertical angles. And so that's how I know um, vertical angles. I always use that diagram. But they don't have to look like that. Vertical angles can easily be 90 degrees. So for example, if you look at angle B, O, D, that is a vertical angle with angle E, O, A. They're both vertical angles. Sides are opposite rays, right? O, B, O, E, O, D, O, A. Those are opposite rays, so the angles that they make are vertical. So that's by definition vertical angles. So you can pick any two in the picture. Um, I like using acute angles for vertical angles just because. Just I mean, it's, it's out of habit. There's no reason. So let's say I look at the first angle. Let's say I name BOC. Uh, what would be the vertical angle to angle BOC? It would, of course, be EOF. And so that would be angle EOF. 
Now, could I call that FOE? Yes, but a habit that I have is that when I name vertical angles, I name the, uh, the shared ray, right? The opposite ray. So if it was BOC, I'm on that ray of, uh, of OB and OE, that means I'm gonna name it EOF. It's just a habit. I would strongly recommend picking that up because it just helps you with directional reading. Um, but uh, correct is correct when it comes to the term of this particular question, name the vertical angle. All right, that's vertical angle. Next one, complementary angles. This is where things get uh, confusing because you, you have to use some memories. The first thing I want you to know is that it's, it's right to compliment people. It's just the right thing to do. You pay people compliments. So um, what does it have to do with complementary angles? Well, if it's right to compliment people, you know what complementary angles do? They add to 90 degrees, which is a right angle. Oh, so punny, Mr. Katz. Yes, so it's right to compliment people, so complementary angles add to 90 degrees. So if you look here, we have actually a pair of complementary angles, uh, well, two pairs of complementary angles. So which angles add up to 90 degrees? So the first thing you do is look for is the 90 degree angle. And if you remember, that little symbol there means it's a 90 degree angle, okay? So that's your 90 degree angle symbol. So complementary angles add up to, one, uh, to 90 degrees. So that means the two angles that, uh, that come together to make that right angle, those are complementary. So I can name the two complementary angles by first naming, uh, let's go with AOF. Let's say I name angle AOF. The complementary angle for AOF is the angle that when added to it would make 90, which of course is this angle. That's the only angle. So FOE is the only other uh, angle that we can add to it to, to make 90 degrees, okay? Um, by definition, also, these two angles are complement or complementary as well, but, you know, we'll get there another time. So that's a complementary angle, right? More vocab. Just remember that it's right to complement people, so uh, complementary angles add to 90 degrees. You're welcome. All right. And, uh, and another vocabulary term, we have supplementary angles. So it's easy to confuse complementary and supplementary, but you know I don't know if it's right to supplement people. I don't even know what that means. So all I know is supplementary angles add up to 180. Um, normally, whenever I recognize a straight line, I just say sup. Uh, so that's what I normally do. Whenever I see a, a, a straight line, I'll just I'll look at it and then just nod my head like sup. So supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So we can look at, uh, look at all sorts of things going on here. Uh, we can have multiple angles, but I'm just dealing with angle pairs, right? I'm saying name a pair of angles that are supplementary. Any two angles that can add to 180 degrees. So we can have 180 degrees here, which means angle AOC and angle AOF are supplementary. We have uh, 180 degrees here, which means angle COD and angle COA add to 180 degrees any two angles that make a straight line now it's hard because when you're looking at the two angles that are supplementary in this particular diagram you have to ignore a lot of stuff right so uh, it's kind of hard so it really doesn't matter which two angles you choose um, for my purposes uh, how about I use I'm, I don't care how about AOC I'll use angle AOC here's that angle AOC what would make that 180 degrees? This angle right here, COD. So I know that angle COD is supplementary to that. Okay, so those are the two supplementary angles that I can identify in that diagram. But there are a lot. Okay, so there's way more than one, one pair. All right, so there, that's that vocabulary, supplementary angles. Now we have another vocabulary piece called linear pair. Linear pair angles. So the linear pair vocab involves other vocab. Linear pair angles are adjacent angles that make a straight line. Okay, so adjacent angles. And if you remember what adjacent angles are, adjacent angles have a common side and a common vertex. So linear pair angles are adjacent angles that make a line. And, uh, and you can easily use previous vocabulary in a second. So we have to look for two angles that are adjacent. And remember, um, adjacent means they share a vertex and a side. But they have to make a straight line. 
So uh, I could use, and, and I will for this case, I'll use angle F O B. Okay, so if I use for my linear pair angles, angle F O B, what would be the linear pair angle for F O B? Well, we look back. Here's F O B. What would make it a straight line? This angle here, B O C. Okay, so those are linear pairs. Angle B O C. Now, if you're watching this to take notes, what I would strongly recommend you do is to not use the angle pairs that I have, except for complementary. I would, I would use different angles if I were you to make sure you fully understand what the notes are. Okay, so this is a basic diagram. We have our vocabulary of adjacent angles, vertical angles, complementary angles, supplementary angles, and linear pair angles. And linear pair angles are always supplementary Woo more vocab right so linear pair angles are always supplementary so neat vocab for vocab linear pair angles like you can use all sorts of other vocab for that so we have the notes for all of the linear pairs you have to know this stuff you have to know this vocabulary so that we can communicate effectively and argue stuff later okay later we're going to argue stuff but for now we're going to use that just to you know Obey the textbook. Blah, blah, blah. Everything is about the textbook. So with all that knowledge, what we can do is, uh, is go through these exercises somewhat quickly, and, uh, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so in, this, in the exercise here, we have a diagram. Well, first, let's look at the example. It says, look at this example. Let's shoot this down super quick. Angle ACE, uh, which is right here, ACE, and angle BCD, B, C, D are vertical angles. Explain. No, they're totally not vertical angles. Remember what the vertical angles do? It, <coughs> they look like this. So, no, they don't look like that. And, and why not? You know, No, they're not vertical. Why not? Because uh, they don't look like that. But they only have one set of sides that are opposite rays. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Most important things to know, no, those are not vertical angles. And that becomes important later. All right, so now on to the exercises. For this, uh, this first set of exercises, we have to look for a pair <coughs> Excuse me. Of each of the following, right? So we have this diagram in the, in the textbook, and it's asking for a pair of complementary angles, and it's right to complement people. Okay, so we're going to look for angles that add up to ninety degrees. So the first thing we need is a ninety degree angle. <coughs> Excuse me. Fortunately, they give us a ninety degree angle. Angle ADC is ninety degrees. Therefore, the two angles that make up angle ADC are comp are complementary. So does angle. A, D, B, that's our first angle, and that is complements with angle B, D, C. <clears throat> How much fun. There's our pair of complementary angles, right? The pair of supplementary angles. Supplementary, make a straight line. We can, we can go crazy with this. How about we go easy peasy? I want to look at line E, C. I'm going to look at that line. So I'm going to make comp, uh, supplementary angles, E, D, F. Keep them right. And if EDF uh, is part of a supplementary angle, the other supplementary angle must be FDC. Angle FDC. Okay, so I, I choose that for supplementary. It doesn't have to be those. All right, so vertical angles is next. We only have uh, a couple choices here. So you remember what vertical angles do? Vertical angles make that X. Check this out. I'm going to look at line EC and line AF. I'm going to look at the X there. I'm going to look at the vertical angles here and here. I'm going to ignore ray DB. I'm going to ignore that as I look at my vertical angles. So the vertical angles I'm going to pick out are angle EDF, because that's always fun to start with. And if I'm going to use EDF, I'm going to use ADC, angle ADC for the vertical angle. Do I have to? No, I don't have to. I just want to see what can happen when you're adjusting your, uh, your eyes to stuff. And then 23, name a linear pair. Well, remember what a linear pair is, adjacent angles that form a straight line. So pick any straight line you want. How about I look at line AF? If I look at line AF, a linear pair could be angle ADB. I'll use that, angle ADB. B. And if I'm using angle A, D, B for my linear pair, I have to use B, D, F. That's my other one, angle B, D, F. Okay, so I'm going to use those as my linear pair. 
and it just happens. So we can work out the activities that way. All right, last part. Algebra. We're going to find the value of x. So check this out, number 24. <clears throat> we have some interesting things going on. What's this picture of? This picture is of a straight line. Okay, this picture is of a straight line. And what do we know about straight lines? Well, they add up to 180 degrees because these two angles happen to be supplements. They are supplements of one another. Okay, supplements means they add to 180 degrees. So I have to know that coming in. That means that this angle here, 3x plus 31, is equal to this angle here, 2x minus 6. So those are equal measures. Okay, I have to, I have to know that. So I can set up that equation. So I can completely set up 3x plus 31. Oh, they're not equal to each other. Whoa, I just made a mistake. Don't ignore that. You should be confused. They add up to 180. <laughs> that means when I add these two, they're not equal to each other. That means when I add up these two angles, they add up to 180. Okay, so uh, besides that little verbal mistake, uh, I want you to see what just happened. I've got two things and I'm adding them together, and they're, they're, their addition is 180. That's it. I got one thing and another thing I'm adding to 180. Don't mind the parentheses. Uh, I would strongly encourage you to use them because I'm just saying, well, it's this angle plus this angle. Right? So now I have a multi-step equation, and the first thing I must do is simplify. If needed, um, what do you call it? Distributive property and combine like terms. Here, there is no multiplication going on with the groups. I'm not multiplying any of the groups, so I'm just going to add what's there. Okay, in this case, it's just 3x plus 31, and then plus 2x, and then minus 6 equals 180. And now what I can start to do, combine like terms. Okay, so now my like terms, if you recall, are terms that have the same unit of measure. Okay, I got three x's and two x's. That gives me five x's. I've got 31 ones minus six ones. Well, that leaves me with a uh, plus 25 ones. And then that will equal my 180. Okay, so I combine like terms, and now I start to, <coughs> excuse me, now I start to undo stuff. Pardon that, Bill. So now I start to undo stuff. I have to isolate the variable. There's 5x plus 25. I need to undo plus 25. How do I do that? Take away, right? Take away 25. So I'll be left with 5x equaling, uh, let's see, carry the one, bar the thing. 5x equaling 155. <coughs> then I have 5 times x, so I need to undo that. How do I undo 5 times x? I divide by 5. And so x would give me <coughs> 31. <coughs> Excuse me. So x is 31. Now, just like I've done before, before I go circling stuff, I need to read the question again. The question is reading, find the value of x. So it's not telling me to find the measures, right? It's not telling me to find the angle measures. I could, and if it was me asking, that's what I would do. I would say find the angle measures. But the book is being nice to you right now. So, uh, so all we need to do is find the value of x. We did. The value of x is 31. We're all set. All right. So 25 is, uh, is very similar, right? What's happening in number 25? Well, we have two angles that come together and the two angles are making a 90 degree angle they are making a right angle and if they make a right angle the vocab of course you should know is complement so they are complements of one another <coughs> excuse me and if they are complements of one another that means they add to 90 degrees okay so we have to figure all that out and if the two angles add to 90 degrees, all we're going to do is show that. That's all we're going to do. We're going to show that, that this angle plus this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so, well, let's show that. 3x plus, and I'm going to use parentheses again just because I find it's more responsible, equals 90 degrees. I'm going to set up my equation, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. 
Good Lord. All right, so there's the equation. The rest is a review. So just like before, we have a multi-step equation, so we're going to simplify first. We're going to combine our like terms. There is no distributive property taking place. So we have 3x plus 4x minus 15 is equal to 90. And then we combine our like terms, which have the same units of measure. So we have 3x's and 4x's, 7x's, uh, minus 15 ones. There's the only thing there, and then it equals 90. All right, so we've simplified. Now we can start to undo. And how do we have 7x minus 15? How do we undo minus 15 with a plus 15? So we will add 15 to both sides. <clears throat> and then we have 7x equaling 105. <coughs> and then lastly, we have 7 times x. We're going to undo that with division. So we divide. x will then equal uh, 7 goes into 10 one time with a remainder of 3. 35 is 5. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So x is 15. So again, we've got to be careful when we read this thing. What is it asking for? Just the value of x. So, okay, 3 times 15. Oh, that's 45. These are cute. All right, so that's cute. Cute for later. All we need to do is find the value of x, and we did that. So we can circle. x equals 15. All right, always go back and read. It's just good practice. Anyway, we've explored angle pairs inside out, and we've gotten used to what the book is asking for us. So um, just remember your notes, folks, and catch on the flip side when we start doing constructions. Woo-hoo! <laughs>